Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I am from thesupportzone.com and the purpose of thesupportzone.com is to offer bookkeeping services to small business owners and with the help of today's video, you will be able to learn how you can export and import the QuickBooks information. If I say you would like to export the data from one QuickBooks company file and import the new QuickBooks company file. So with the help of today's video, you will be able to see this complete process. So there are two steps that we need to follow prior to start with export and import of the QuickBooks data. So to do that, let me show you. Let me go ahead and open QuickBooks. I am using QuickBooks Pro 2024. So this is a sample company file that I have created and uh, let me go ahead and open this one. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and open it. So once the file is open, okay, so there are two things that you need to do. First is to update your QuickBooks to the latest release. Second is to create a QuickBooks company file backup. So to update your QuickBooks to the latest release, you need to go to help and then click on update QuickBooks desktop, then click on update now and then click on get update to get the latest updated release of your QuickBooks edition. I am not going to do this because the video will going to get longer. So I'm just going to click on close. And the second step that you you need to follow is to create a company file backup so in order to create a company file backup you need to go to file menu then go to backup company and then click on create local backup depends on your quickbook setting which backup option you choose online backup or the local backup for this video purpose i'm just gonna click on create local backup then i choose save it now and then i click on next i'm just gonna do it on the desktop for this purpose and then it starts to create backup on your desktop that's the location that i chose okay so once the backup is completely created we are going to start with exporting the information from this company file the backup was successful i clicked on okay so in order to export the information what you need to do you need to go to file menu then go to utility then go to export and then click on list to iif file iif files means this is one of the format used by intuit quickbook to export and import the information so when i click on this you will gonna be able to see the list of things that you can export from your quickbooks company file as you can see you can export chart of accounts customers list vendors list employees list all these kind of lists you can export for this video purpose let's say i'm gonna export this customers list okay i'm just gonna click on customer list i just chose it and then i click on ok and then i will name it as customer okay and then i click on save i'm saving it on the desktop okay and then i click on save it here and you can see it says your data has been exported successfully so i'm just going to go ahead and click on ok then what i need to do i need to go to the new quickbooks company file or the file where you want to import the information in so for this i'm gonna close this company file all right and then afterwards i'm just gonna create a new QuickBooks company file here. I'll choose this option. Then I click on start setup. I'll say sign in later. For this here, I will mention it as this LLC and industry. I will choose as construction and then the business type. It depends on your business type. What kind of business do you have? I'm choosing sole proprietorship and it is asking for admin email, typing in our business email on which you can contact us for any kind of QuickBooks inquiry, then I click on create comp. So now it starts to create a new QuickBooks company file. It will only going to take a couple of seconds to create a new QuickBooks company file. All right. And then afterwards, once the file is completely created, it will going to show you some kind of a tour of this product. I'm just going to click on cancel. Like they will going to show you all kind of functionalities that QuickBooks has. So I just skip that by clicking on cancel. I will just close these notifications as well. Then I click on start working. All right. So this new notification comes up. Let me close this. So in order to import the information that we exported, from the previous file and import the same information into this new QuickBooks company file, you need to go to file menu, utilities, import, 
and then I will choose IIF files. They have different options to import the information. You can see Excel files you can import, IIF files you can import, Web Connect files. Web Connect files are generally the files that you downloaded from your bank's website and import the information into your QuickBooks. And the other one is general entries. Okay. So as we have exported the files in IIF format, I'm going to choose the same option to import. I will click on OK to close all the QuickBooks windows which are open. And I'm going to use this option, import IIF. So we need to click on this one. And one thing I would like to show you first, I completely forgot. I'm sorry about that. So as we created this test company file, okay, I would like to show you one thing here. We exported customers list. So I will gonna go ahead and click on customers, customer center, and you can see there is no customer. Let me choose all customers here. It says are there are no results. It means there are no customers in this QuickBooks company file. You can see it is just LLC. So now we are going to import the customers list by going to file utilities, import IIF file. Then we need to click on OK to close all the open windows. Then we click on import IIF but I generally do not do this I prefer to do this thing because it helps to fix the errors after the work is done okay it depends on your need how you would like to import but I would like to go with this option import it for me okay then I will click on import IIF and it also says to create a backup. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you need to create a backup. So that's why. And then you can click on import IIF. And then we need to go to the desktop because that's the location where we created or where we exported our customers list. And here you can see it. We just need to click on this and then we need to click on open. And then it starts to import the information as you can see. And here you can see your data has been imported. So let me click on okay and now what i'm gonna do and what i will gonna show you let me click on home here and then let me go ahead and click on customers customer center and now can you see here the list all of my customers who are active otherwise i can click on this drop down menu and then i click on all customers and you can see they all are here you can click on any of them and you can see all the information related to them and that's how you can export and import the same information i will show you one more thing here with the same thing with some one more example I'm gonna take as you can see this is the test LLC file so in this file we do not have anything related to vendors as well you can see there are no results that meet this criteria so I'm gonna export the information from my old company file and import the same into this one to get all of my vendors information so let me go ahead and click on file and click on open previous company to go back to my primary file which was a sample file here or which is a sample file if I say and then once this file is open let me go ahead and export the vendors information information as well or vendors list if I say so in order to export the information for vendors we need to go to file menu again file utilities export list to IIF files then I choose vendor list then I click on OK and then I will name it as vendor or save it as vendor and then I click on save and you can see your data has been exported successfully and then you can click on OK. One suggestion here whenever you would like to export the information try to do it one by one. Let's say customers list at one, once at a time, vendors list. Otherwise, you may get receive or you may receive a lot of errors while importing the information. So try to do the things one by one in order to move the information safely from one QuickBooks company file to the another one. All right. So let me close this window. And now let me go back to the second file that I created. So now I need to go to file menu, open previous company, and then I click on this second file, which I created with the name of test LLC. So once this file is open and uh, as I show, show you previously, there were no vendors in this new QuickBooks company file. So in order to get all the vendors information, I need to go to file menu and let me show you one more time here. We need to go to vendors and vendor center and you can see there is no vendor. There is no single vendor in the list. So in order to import the vendors information, I need to go to file menu utilities, import IIF file, then click on OK. And I'll choose this option imported to, uh, for me 
I'll fix the errors later. If there are any errors, I will fix them later on. It will show me the message as well. When there is any error in between the import process, it will going to show a window as well. So I'm going to click on import IIF and then I click on desktop where the file is saved for windows. I click on windows. That's what I saved with the name of and then I click on open. And now you can see says your data has been imported. It means all of my vendors are now in this QuickBooks company file, which I just recently created. Or if I say this is my new QuickBooks company file that has all of my vendors information now. So in order to ensure about this thing, I need to go to vendors, vendor center. And now you can see all are here now. And these all are my active vendors. In order to see all vendors, I need to choose all vendors. And you can see this. You need to choose any of them. And you can see all of their information with all the transactions and all that. So that's how you can export and import the data from one data file to the another data file of your QuickBooks desktop. All right. So this was it for this video. One thing which I would like to mention before I close this video, if I say if you need any help related to your QuickBooks, you can contact me on this website. I mean, you can go to this website or, or you can dial me this number. I'm available on this phone number. You can also drop me an email on this email address. I will reply to the email as soon as I receive it. All right. So for anything related to your QuickBooks bookkeeping help or anything related QuickBooks or Quicken services, you can contact me and I will be there to help you. So that was it for this video. And in this video, we learned how you can export and import the information from one QuickBooks company file to the new QuickBooks company file. If you have any doubts, any questions or anything related to this video or apart from this video, you have any doubts, you can comment me below. I will be there to help you or I will be there to reply with all those comments. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a good one. Bye bye.